somebody asked me if I would uh, do a uh, video on what I uh, use this year. So I figured I'll go into a little more depth with it. This is a Akuma Guide Series Pro. It's rated 817. It's nine and nine, nine, nine and a half feet in length. Got a Shimano reel on it, 40 pound braid. Um, I'm running about uh, a three foot leader on it with a cheater. Single hook, one aught with the uh, inline weight and just a clear float with a corky and bead on top of that and that's it. And uh, just depends on where I'm fishing and, and eggs. Uh, sometimes I'll run eggs with a piece of coon shrimp on it too. Um, I did lose one fish down by the Lewis Street Bridge. Kind of irritates me. And I had an opportunity to actually pull it on the bank and I didn't. And I kicked myself in the ass for it. But that would have been horsing it. And horsing kings is not a bright thing to do. I've lost too many fish that way. I figured I'd play it a little longer. That lost it anyways. But that's all I run. That's it. This reel holds about 200 yards of 40 pound braid, which is a 10 pound test diameter. The 30 pound braid is an 8 pound test diameter. I don't like to run the 30 pound braid, which is the 8 pound test diameter, for the simple reason is I've gotten wind knots in it before, which just irritate the crap out of me. And um, it doesn't float on the on the surface very well. And the lightest you want to go is a uh, 40 pound braid, you know, which is a 10 pound test diameter. It floats better, but that's that's my setup. That's that's all I'm using. Uh, I take a second rod with me, and uh, it's a older GL2 that uh, I run for float fish or for for drifting, and I'll rig it up with a spinner if. I'm in the right spot in the right conditions. But uh, that's pretty much uh, all I take with me right now. And uh, I just now find a spot that I know the fish are going to come through. They're not holding right now. They're just blowing right through, you know. Um, the one thing I've learned about kings and most salmon, people think they're smart or whatever. They're not. They run on instinct. All you have to do is do a lot of studying and figuring out what the instinct of these fish are. When the water is high, they are on the move. They're trying to get up river as far as they can, as fast as they can, because they're not even going to spawn until September. And they're going to sit in the river all summer long. So when the water's high, they're on the move. They don't hold. You just got to be in the right place at the right time and put your time in. I sat there for four and a half hours nonstop casting, running this float through the seam, knowing that the only opportunity we were going to get was probably one fish. Sure enough, one finally pushed through. It was about 11 o'clock in the morning, and I hooked up, and uh, that was it for the rest of the time. We stayed up there till about 12, 1230, and never caught anything after that, never even touched another fish. Never saw one roll, nothing. Um, you get farther up river, uh, closer to the boundary lines, and they'll, they'll hold a little bit. Right now, huh, the river went to 23,000 cubic feet a second. Today's Friday, yeah, Thursday. It's on its way back down right now, but it's not going to be fishable for probably close to three or four days. It's going to take at least that long to drop back down to anything that's even close. So uh, still a lot of snow in the mountains, and uh, it's going to be an interesting year. If you have a boat, you stand a better chance. Fishing from the bank, you are literally got to wait for fish to move through. Uh, hopefully we have a good run of fish, and... Uh, People get a few, but uh, if you got a boat, you can cover more water. That's the biggest trick. That or you're going to anchor up and wait for them to push through. Uh, July, when the river starts to drop, they'll start to hold in these deeper holes. They'll move from hole to hole to hole to hole and hold in those holes a little longer. But right now, they're just moving through. you got to put your time in and, and hope for the best. So I don't know if this will help you or not, but uh, that's all I'm running right now. It's just like, it's like I say, put your time in. If you find a good spot and you think there's a chance there's a fish going to push through it, fish it. Fish it for hours if that's what it takes. You might have to go back multiple days to that in another spot. But uh, that's all I'm doing. I'm just putting my time in. See you on the river.